The red supergiant star Betelgeuse is smaller and closer than we previously thought, according to astronomers from the Australian National University. A study published in the Astrophysical Journal this week unveils some new calculations of the star's mass and distance and shows us an estimate for when it's likely to go supernova. Betelgeuse is one of the brightest stars in the sky. In late 2019 and early 2020, it appeared to be dimming, thus raising concerns that the star will explode soon. But new research led by Dr. Meredith Joyce from the Australian National University says the dimming events were actually due to a dust cloud obscuring the star from Earth and the star's natural pulsations. A large amount of dense hot gas moving outwards at 200,000 miles per hour through Betelgeuse's extended atmosphere could have cooled and formed a dust cloud that partially blocked the star's light as seen from Earth. This activity resulted in a loss of roughly two times the normal amount of material from the southern hemisphere alone. Betelgeuse is a variable star, but its rising and falling in brightness aren't noticeable to casual observers. The researchers also discovered that it may be another 100,000 years until the giant red star Betelgeuse dies in a fiery explosion. Their data also shows the star is both smaller and closer to Earth than previously thought. The team used modeling to sort out what was going on with the pulsations. They traced it to what co-author Shengqi Lung of the University of Tokyo described as pressure waves, essentially sound waves. This activity helped the researchers figure out where the star is in its life cycle. The study also revealed how big Betelgeuse is and its distance from Earth. The actual physical size of Betelgeuse has been a bit of a mystery. Scientists previously thought it could be bigger than the orbit of Jupiter. But the new results suggest Betelgeuse only extends out to two-thirds of that with a radius 750 times that of the Sun. Once they better understood the physical size of Betelgeuse, the team was able to make a more accurate calculation of its distance from Earth, placing it at around 530 light-years away, or about 25% closer than previously known. Scientists call Betelgeuse a red supergiant because the star is nearing the end of its life swelling out as it burns through the elements in its core before exploding in a supernova. Despite being so much closer, the supernova will not impact humans on Earth. However, it will be visible even during the daytime. Its brightness will outshine our moon. Scientists say because Betelgeuse is our closest candidate to go supernova, it gives them a rare opportunity to study what happens to stars like this before they explode. If you want to see Betelgeuse with your own eyes, you have to find the Orion constellation. If you are in the Northern Hemisphere, just go outside in the evening and look in the Southwest sky or the Northwestern sky if you are in the Southern Hemisphere. For those near the equator, it will be visible in the Western sky See the diagram? Betelgeuse marks the left-hand shoulder of the hunter. The star is so bright and red, even in light-polluted areas, that you can't miss it. Supergiant stars are the largest, most massive, and the most luminous stars in the universe. These stars can range from 10 to 70 solar masses and have a brightness from 30,000 up to hundreds of thousands of times the solar luminosity. Supergiant stars give off between 10,000 and 1 million times the energy of the Sun. They are anywhere from 30 to 1,000 times the radius of the Sun. These gargantuan objects are old stars that are nearing the end of their life. Unlike stars like our Sun, supergiants consume hydrogen fuel at an enormous rate and will consume all the fuel in their cores within just a few million years.
This means these stars live fast and die young. Their lifetimes are only 10 to 15 million years, which is extremely short on the scale of stellar evolution. Supergiant stars are only observed in young cosmic structures, such as open clusters, the arms of spiral galaxies and irregular galaxies.